Taylor County Fair coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. Uh, go ahead and, and tell us your name, where you're from, some of the stuff you're doing here at the fair this week. Okay. I'm Naya McMillan. I'm showing pigs and chickens here, and that's pretty much it. Looks like things are kind of getting started with setup. Uh, is this kind of a busy day getting everything ready, or are there maybe a little nerves too? Yeah, so earlier this morning we did pig weigh-in, which was busy, and then later this afternoon I'll be showing chickens. Tell us about the, the pigs and chickens you're showing uh, this week. So I have a Hereford gilt that I'm showing for pigs. Her name's Ada, and then for my chickens, I've got ornamentals and layers, as well as call ducks. What is the key to showing a, a good chicken? Um, is it kind of difficult to, to do that? Mm, it's not very difficult, but I guess feather quality is a big factor. And whether you're showing ornamental or layers, layers, you want a good bone structure for the fact that they are laying, and then with ornamentals, it's more about the quality of the feathers and the colors. Now, as somebody that is kind of foreign to this, what, what does feather quality mean? It means they're clean and smooth and not like all broken and like missing. You want like your six wing feathers and you want it to be nice and full. Is that a, a big thing, I'm guessing, for the judging, uh, the, the feather quality? Yes, especially for the ornamentals. So do you work with your chickens off and on throughout the year, or what's that like? I personally do. I'll set them up and about spend about five minutes per chicken just having them sit there. For those that are maybe wondering, uh, you mentioned you're showing pigs, you're showing chickens. When are those shows this week? So t today, this afternoon at 2 will be the chickens, and then tomorrow starting at 8 will be the pigs. So aside from, from showing chickens and pigs this week, anything else you're doing or does that pretty much consume up the, the entire week? That's pretty much it for me. Taylor County Fair coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. Uh, talking to another busy person here today. Uh, go ahead and just tell us your name, um, where you're from, and some of the stuff you're doing this week. Uh, my name is Trace Miller and I'm showing pigs and got to get ready for the show. Yeah, today's a, a busy day for that it looks like. Oh yeah, we got to weigh in this morning and got to get them all washed up and clipped and everything for it. So weighing in pigs, again, I'm kind of foreign to this, so forgive me, but w what is that like? Do they have to meet like a certain weight? Is, is it like wrestling where they got to meet a certain weight or what is it? Yeah, they have to be around like 230 pounds and I don't know. You just got to make sure that it's above that. There's not much really range. You can go above it. Yours was good to go? Uh, I had one that didn't come in at weight. Is that kind of a bummer when that happens? I mean, you, you work with them all year, you get them here, and then they're not able to go? Yeah, you know, you work with them all year, you prep them all for this, and then they don't end up making weight, and it's just kind of a bummer, yeah. So tell us about your pigs. Uh, what makes them special to you? Uh, so I got one purebred and, you know, just one gilt. All the rest are barrows, and, you know, I've just worked with them through the year and just got a connection with them. When you say you're, you're working with them, what does that mean? What are you working with them on? Uh, you know, you got to go out there and walk with them and like just be around them so they're not scared of humans and stuff. And just for months, just go out there and mess with them. If somebody new to showing pigs were to ask you, hey, you know, what's, what's the most important thing to showing pigs, what would you tell them? Just make sure that they know how to walk right. You know, make sure they keep their head up. Just make sure they're bonded with you. What does the rest of the week look like for you? Is it just busy showing pigs or is there maybe a little fun involved as well? Well, mostly just showing pigs and then I'll leave here. So just get with, done with the show and I'll be done. Taylor County Fair coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. Uh, go ahead, tell us your name, where you're from, some of the stuff you're doing this week. Um, my name is Noah Johnson. I'm from Newmarket and I'm showing pigs this week and pigs projects. It's been kind of a busy week for you. I know you, you've been playing some baseball and then obviously getting ready for the fair. What is this week like uh, coming into it? It's pretty hectic? Yeah, very hectic. It just, uh, with baseball and then the pigs, it just you're trying to get them all ready, but also uh, being able just to feed them out and still uh, stay calm. Tell us about your pigs. Um, they're, they're pretty good, I guess. I've got a lot of them, so it's uh, kind of hectic running around doing all of it, but it's... Uh, worthwhile and enjoyable when you say a lot of them what is a lot of them so we got eight right now and uh, kind of mixed with barrows and gilts but uh, it's a lot 
That is a lot. Uh, how, how do you handle working with all of them at once? Um, you just stay calm, I guess. Because uh, if, you, if you stay calm, the pig's going to be calm. And you just keep it cool. How many years have you been showing pigs? Oh, this is about my fourth year. So maybe not as much as a lot of people, but uh, still a lot of experience, I guess. And what has that experience been like for you over the last four years? Um, it's been very, uh, there's been ups and downs, I guess. So you just, I've learned a lot through the years and it's made me a better person. What does the rest of the week look like? Is it just busy showing pigs? Yeah, pretty much. Perfect. Well, hey, thanks for your time. Thank you. Taylor County Fair Coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. Uh, just tell us your name, where you're from, some of the stuff you're doing here this week. Uh, I'm Lindsay Jeanette. My, uh, I'm from, well, Taylor County, and I brought sheep, photography, and visual arts projects. So staying busy this week, it sounds like? Yes. Okay, so photography and visual arts, uh, I'm kind of curious with those. I know I was kind of looking around in the exhibit room earlier. Uh, what can you tell us uh, about those and what you did to those this week? Well, I brought three photos. Um, one was a picture of a cat with some Christmas lights behind it. One was a picture of the American flag and one was a self-portrait of myself. And the flag and the self-portrait made it to the state fair. And then my visual arts project was a stained glass bouquet that made it to the state fair as well. Is that pretty exciting to know that, I mean, you put in the work for the photos and the visual arts and to know they're going to be on showcase at the state fair next month? Yes, it's very rewarding. How much work would you say you put into those throughout the year to get them ready? I mean, obviously, whatever it was, it, it did a good job. Stained glass, I calculated up the hours, and it was about 25 hours total. And pictures aren't quite as much, but I'd say probably about two hours. So what goes into a state fair qualifying photo? Um, the write-up is really important. They want to hear the design elements and principles, and you just want to follow the general aspects like rule of thirds and such like that. You said you're, you're showing sheep this week as well? Yes, today actually. What can you tell us about those? I brought four lambs, two market lambs, and two breeding ewes. Are you having fun this week? Yes, I am. Perfect. Well, hey, thank you very much. Thank you. Fair coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance here at the Taylor County Fair in Bedford. Uh, go ahead, tell us your name, some of the stuff you're doing this week, and where you're from. Uh, my name is Ashley David. I'm from Taylor County, and I brought sheep to the state or <laughs> county fair. So you're showing sheep this week. Uh, today's kind of the day to get everything ready. Is that right? Yes. We have our livestock show. It starts at 10 with goats and sheep to follow. So what goes into showing a, a good sheep? Lots of hard work. At home, I walk them, uh, do hide stuff and treadmill and just build muscle on them. Now, I've heard people say goats have a mind of their own. Are, are sheep kind of similar in that way? Can they be kind of tough to maneuver at times? Very tough at times, yes. <laughs> Does your sheep have a name? Um, none of them do except one. One's really small. It weighs like 115 at fair today, and its name is Shrimpy, like shrimp dash p like it's funny that's a pretty great name uh so is this this week is it just showing sheep for you and then get out of here what's the week look like um today i show sheep in this morning and then i actually am running for taylor county fair queen so i have that tonight so are you nervous very nervous <laughs> well, what is that process like uh it sounds like there's a lot that goes into it oh yeah so there's five girls that ran this year that over the weekend we did our contest so it was like formal wear, etiquette, at table, and then we had our five minute interview with the judges. And the judges just really get to know us and they judge us on how well we speak and how well our table manners are. Again, remind everybody when that is. This, or tonight at seven o'clock. Still here at the Taylor County Fair, fair coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. So we've got a couple more uh, busy youngsters with us today. Uh, might be a little nervous, but that's okay. Uh, go ahead and tell us your names, guys, where you're from, some of the stuff you're doing this week. I'm Colin Moore, and I'm from Bedford, Iowa. What are you, what are you showing this week, Colin? Horses and rabbits. My name's Tucker Moore, and I'm from Bedford, Iowa. I'm showing horses and rabbits. Are you guys brothers? Yeah. Okay, I can't tell you, you kind of looked alike, so I figured. Uh, so you're both showing horses and rabbits this week. Uh, what is that like? Is it fun? 
Yeah, horses are really fun. We buy and sell horses for a living, so it's kind of fun just to get out of the house and stuff. What goes into showing a good horse? Time, riding him. You gotta get him working good. You gotta get him in shape. It's a lot of fun. So are you working with your horses all week or all year? What's all that like? Year. All year? Yeah. What about rabbits? How do you show a rabbit? It's kind of hard and kind of not. You gotta have a good smile. Just got a good rabbit. What is a good rabbit? A big thick made one that is easy to hold and good thick. What is your guys' favorite part uh, about the Taylor County Fair or fairs in general? The horses of mine. The horses? Rabbits and goats. Rabbits and goats. So you guys both show horses and rabbits uh, throughout the year. Are you guys working together on them? Or? Sometimes. Sometimes we're competing against each other. What's that like? Is there maybe a little smack talk going on or is it competitive? A little. Perfect. Hey, Taylor County Fair Coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. Still here at the Taylor County Fair Fair Coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. So we've got a couple more uh, busy youngsters with us today. Uh, might be a little nervous, but that's okay. Uh, go ahead and tell us your names, guys, where you're from, some of the stuff you're doing this week. I'm Colin Moore and I'm from Bedford, Iowa. What are you, what are you showing this week, Colin? Horses and rabbits. My name's Tucker Moore and I'm from Bedford, Iowa. I show on horses and rabbits. Are you guys brothers? Yeah. Okay, I can't tell you, you kind of looked alike, so I figured. Uh, so you're both showing horses and rabbits this week. Uh, what is that like? Is it fun? Yeah, horses are really fun. We buy and sell horses for a living, so it's kind of fun just to get out of the house and stuff. What goes into showing a good horse? Time riding him. You gotta get him working good. You gotta get him in shape. It's a lot of fun. So are you working with your horses all week or all year? Or what's all that year. like? All year? Yeah. What about rabbits? How do you show a rabbit? It's kind of hard and kind of not. You gotta have a good smile. Just got a good rabbit. What is a good rabbit? A big thick made one that is easy to hold and good thick. What is your guys' favorite part uh, about the Taylor County Fair or fairs in general? The horses of mine. The horses? Rabbits and goats. Rabbits and goats. So you guys both show horses and rabbits uh, throughout the year. Are you guys working together on them? Or? Sometimes. Sometimes we're competing against each other. What's that like? Is there maybe a little smack talk going on, or is it competitive? A little. Perfect. Hey, Taylor County Fair Coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. Taylor County Fair Coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance. Talking with Taylor County Extension Director Jenny Ernst. Uh, Jenny, things are starting to get going here in Bedford. I'm sure that's pretty exciting. It is. We are starting. We actually started yesterday with our horse show, and that we kind of asked for better day the weather was beautiful the kids were um, right on and so then today we are moving into our sheep and goat show and our poultry show is this afternoon what's the feeling like with maybe some of the 4-H'ers and the people involved that you know this year you get more of a sense of normalcy last year it was show up show your stuff get out of here uh, not a lot of our stuff going on last year as well but this year for the most part everything's kind of normal everything is very normal um, the kids are definitely excited to be back and being able to show off their projects that they've worked hard on all year long. And then, of course, the fair board is excited to be able to offer a lot of activities and the grandstand entertainment and just the traditional fair that we're used to. Yeah, let's take a look at some of the stuff going on throughout the rest of the week. You mentioned we've got some, some shows today. Uh, what about over the weekend? Uh, Tomorrow, Friday, is our pig show and our rabbit show and dog show are in the afternoon as well. And then in the grandstand that night is the truck pool, which is a tradition definitely for Taylor County. Saturday is our cattle show. And then 
um, Saturday night, we are doing a full rodeo. We've always done bull riding and we switched it over this year to a rodeo. And then Sunday is our fair sale and that wraps it up for the 4-H and FFA members. And then uh, Sunday night, we have the tradition of everything is the demolition derby. I think I've been to that a time or two. Uh, so it sounds like there's lots of great stuff for really everybody this weekend, whether it's the livestock shows, uh, you mentioned the rodeo and the demo derby as well. Definitely. Um, tonight, you come out with a paid admission, you get a free meal, and we're having a talent show and the queen contest as well as the little princess contest is happening so the rain it looks like it's about over with for the day and we are good to go and have lots to show everybody what time does that stuff start tonight seven o'clock is for the entertainment five o'clock is the meal that is being served and it's hamburgers this year so a nice juicy hamburger for supper yeah, hey you can't go wrong with hamburgers uh obviously something like this takes a lot of people to put it together most definitely we work all year long the fair board um it's a it's a year-long process for sure as soon as this fair gets over they'll be planning what they're going to do next year so was it kind of tough going back to last year you know everybody knows last year it was was not the way we would like fairs to be but you know, with it being a year-long process, the fair ends. Was it kind of tough to get ready for this year, not knowing what, what it would bring, or what was that like? Initially, it definitely, the unknown was there. But then we, all, our entertainment, everything came together perfectly. Uh, the grounds are in great shape. So it was just getting back into the swing of things since we hadn't done that full fair for for two years essentially yeah is that kind of tough i mean because basically everything all the notes you have from 2020 you had to basically throw away and go back and look at 2019 definitely um we go uh, pay attention to what we do the year before we do take lots of notes on what works and what doesn't work so um there's definitely unknown because we people are still cautious for sure and we don't know what to expect crowd wise At the Taylor County Fair in Bedford, a minor all fair coverage brought to you by Western Iowa Mutual Insurance, talking with youth program specialist Casey Wenstrand. And Casey, uh, the fair underway, which means you and, and a lot of 4 H'ers are busy right now. Most definitely is. Yes, it's a great fair. We're just starting to get check ins and weigh ins done, and we'll start with shows later on today. Yeah, what, are, what is the process like to get ready for, for a fair like this? Uh, obviously, there's a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah, definitely. The Taylor County staff have been working all summer long to definitely get everything ready. Um, we started uh, Thursday with uh, check-ins and um, for static exhibits and getting on to the state fair. And then we were allowed for everybody to bring in their stuff in. And then last night, we ended up getting animals to come in. We have more animals to come in today. Uh, so really it's a long process. Jenny Ernst is county director and she kind of takes over all of Taylor County and I support her as needed. And we'll hear from Jenny in a little bit. Uh, looking at, I had a chance to look at some of the exhibits. Uh, a, lot, a lot of neat stuff going on. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of work. The 4-H'ers are putting in so much work, whether it's on their uh, animals or within the static building, non-livestock exhibits, communication, clothing. It's hours and hours and hours of getting those programs together. So you're the youth program specialist. Uh, what does that role kind of entail? Obviously, I'm sure it means a lot of coordinating with the 4-H'ers. Yeah, definitely. So um, I'm more so working with the county staff, but helping with the 4-H'ers individually. I cover Region 23, which includes Adams, Taylor, Ringgold, and Union County. So I'm helping the office staff, making sure the clover's looking great there. Uh, if there's any issues, I kind of come in, address those. Um, but really that, yeah, the 4-H'ers are able to uh, reach out to me at any point in time. So you get to see a handful of different fairs. Uh, at the end of the year, do you, do you kind of go back and look and see, you know, what each fair is doing and maybe try to take away some things from that? Yeah, we definitely do. We always, uh, with Region 23, we have what are called our regional meetings. Uh, so all of the 4-H staff come under myself and Justin Akers, the regional director's direction. and. 
we sit and we evaluate what the fair is happening and what happens. So what did Taylor County do to what Union County did and how can we do it? So one item that we're uh, implementing to all four counties in my region is a story walk. So um, today is the story walk for Taylor County. So you can walk around the fairgrounds while reading the uh, book Fair Cow. It's about a dairy cow who wants to become a state fair cow. And so she goes through the process of getting ready and setting goals and determination, just like the 4-Hers have for the last year on getting to the Taylor County Fair. In time with Casey Wenstrom, Youth Program Specialist here in Taylor County. Uh, Casey, just remind people how long the fair goes on to and, and where they can find it. Yeah, definitely. They're going to find it in Bedford, Iowa, um, on the south end of town. And it goes on 